and welcome to part two, where we begin to notice really how boring and terrible this hack can be at times. Eventually I'm going to speed up our battles just to focus on the story as well. We'll speed up battles or take out battle animations. Either one will happen eventually. No matter what though, at the end of the day we're going to be horribly, horribly offended and die from this hack's terribleness. This is sort of going to go off topic because, you know, we're seriously on topic all the time whenever I'm doing commentary on this. But I noticed how kind of neat Fire Emblem battle scenes do look whenever you go do them frame by frame. They're really well animated. It's surprising, actually. I can see how they would get old because I'm kind of tired of them already, but I'm really surprised just how fluent they are as a whole. And I know that other people are like, oh, I know this already, but that's just a little thing that I find interesting about Fire Emblem. It's a really neat thing. I thought it was cool. Anyway, we are not going to use our Fire Rod to attack a bandit. We are instead going to tank sell the side just in case another bandit goes in. Sadly, I misjudged this move anyway after I did everything, so it doesn't even matter at the end. And, uh, Clark gets a free kill. Either way, more levels, the better for everyone, you know. Wait a second. Where in the world is Impa? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did the author actually forget to place Impa on the map? <laughs> I don't know. That just seems a bit ridiculous to, to, to forget that. I, I, I guess... <laughs> she really forgot to... <laughs> I, I, I mean, I guess if she had a limitation, I can understand. I mean, Impa is a Jagan and therefore the most useless member of my team, but... Now let Talon fall asleep. We need to go back for Impa. <laughs> Joking aside, wow. I'm surprised. Uh, Link being slow again. Not good. I mean, he gets a level up and he gets res of all things. And I was like, res? What? At least I think he gets res. It was either him or Ross. Either way, I'm not complaining about res, it's just I prefer more than one or two stats being pumped up every level, you know. Something along the lines of that would be much more efficient than, you know, falling behind and then getting raped by some guy's axe four chapters down the line because he didn't get a single point of defense since the beginning of the game, or he can't even kill him in two rounds because he hasn't got a single point of strength since the beginning of the game. Which... In all possibility, may be likely just due to how bad my luck is at times. Either way, it will be fairly interesting to see how this whole entire uh, shindig goes down. Down to Chinatown, if you will. Sadly, night, the knight over there, Matthew, or not Matthew, Matthew's the thief from Matthew 7. I don't know what his name is. He's not going to be used after this, like I said. I'm going to use them only to hold items, basically, after a while. I'm a nice person, as you can tell. Uh, either way, we're going to end up... ...doing nothing of significance this whole... ...Rostad... ...this whole game. And... ...I know I've said that... ...so many times, but I can't just express how lackluster this whole hack is without multiply shoving it down your brain hoping that you understand just how lackluster this hack is. Some of the people are able to see that, but I just can't understand why some other people wouldn't be able to. It's... it's bad. Headache inducing bad. I mean, I've played worse hacks, don't get me wrong. Or, or worse hacks for other games. This one's just so unappealing, though, just from boredom at times, due to the easy difficulty and 
more than pointless storyline that we have. There is little to nothing of value this whole game. Whole game. And I know the commentary for this part is lackluster, as with the previous part, it's probably just as lackluster. But like I said earlier, it it it's boring early on. I might as well just start listing off random facts or reading from another book. Here, here, let, let me help you. The Arabian Nights. Alright, I'll, I'll read a few pages from this for the rest of the commentary. The next morning, my steward desired to speak with me in private. I am come, said he, to give you some information. Oh, who the fuck? Am I kidding? I can't do this. Oh, storyline. <laughs> I said that like I was almost excited. Malin. Yes, Malin is in her heck, and she is three years old. At least that's how small she would have to be to be tinier than Link. Wait. Link is just as tall as... That would imply he's... Isn't Link, like, six or so, something ridiculously young in this game? I mean, that's what the sprite gives off. And man Face Zelda over there looks the same. I mean, I'm if we're, if we're going with Zelda looking like she sort of does and work during that time as a child, then they're about ten. Talon, you tiny, bro. <laughs> you tally. You're town you're tiny. Yeah, there we go. You tiny. That's just kind of saddening. I just realized that. And Malin's younger than Link, so she's three. Alright, that, that's the only answer I'm accepting on this. She's three. You pedophiles in the audience, don't you get any ideas. I'll take you all out. Uh, yes, Link. Be reckless and stupid. Please, that's the best part. This Link was always reckless and stupid in Legend of Zelda. Ha. 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 Your clever writing, Blue Leafeon, makes me laugh with joy and wonder. Ugh. No one gives a shit about you, OC. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No. Shut up. No one cares about you, OC. Ugh. You could stay here for the night. Pointless scene. Uh, honestly, this has no purpose in the story of this scene right here. The chapter might as well have ended by this point. Or they could have moved the next scene up to here. So we didn't have to deal with... I, I guess it's because they have a set amount of cutscenes that they have to work with and they can't skip or remove. I'm not sure. I don't do a lot of Fire Emblem hacking. But either way, you could have at least written this part. Ooh, foreshadowing. Herp -a -derp -a -derp -a -derp. I'm sorry. Herp -a -derp -a -derp. Foreshadow. There we go. Now that's that's what you gotta do there. Uh, yes, Dark Link is in this game. If you couldn't figure that out from there. Yes, he is a major villain. Yes, I hate this game. Thankfully, this chapter's almost over, and now we're going to go have to quote-unquote rescue Link and Malin. Wow, Lunk. I didn't know you were that useless. Anyway, this is the Chimp Master giving you another extraordinarily mediocre commentary over a terrible hack of a game that was alright. Bye!